Hey Scorpios, welcome to your general reading for August. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. But I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Sorry about the camera angle, it's just what we're dealing with right now. I have a video explaining why. Um, so yeah, let's see, I'll use the Romantic Angels first here, yeah, the Romantic Angels. Scorpio during August. Let's see what's going on. You guys know I love the Scorpio reading. I'm a Scorpio son. <laughs> Getting to know each other. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yeah, hopefully somebody new coming in. Let's see. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith here. Okay, so it is safe for you guys to love. Oops, trust. Let's see what we've done here. Flirt. Okay, let's flirt. Extend the light-hearted energy to others. It went on the floor, so we have to put it back in. So let's see here. Flirting. Trusting, getting to know each other. Sounds like a date to me. Who am I going on a date with? I wish. <laughs> Nobody asks me. So let's see. New love. Feels like a date to me. So yeah, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so we could have some new people coming in for us during August. New love, new romance. Learning to trust and have faith and getting to know somebody new. Oops, let's see what's turned over. Two of Pentacles. An offer here being made. Let's see. Knight of Swords. So somebody is rushing in to make you guys an offer here. Just saying. Just saying. So, somebody rushing in. With this Two of Pentacles, though, are you going to accept Scorpios? Because this Two of Pentacles is a non-movement card. So maybe you're just not interested at this time. <laughs> but um, somebody's coming forward to confess their feelings for you here with the Knight of Swords. Um, they're coming forward to tell you the truth here. So... I'm not sure you're interested with this Two of Pentacles. We'll get more cards, okay? Um, it just seems to be like maybe that person, you're not interested in them. It's a non-starter. <laughs> Nobody asked me, so it's the other way around for me. Nobody's interested. No movement here. Okay, cool. It's my life. Partnership. Um, the Hierophant about coming together. Um, it could be um, a divine partnership, a new love with a divine person here. Um, could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. Um, but like this is a marriage card, a unity card, partnership. So somebody definitely wants to communicate about coming forward and being with you here. So somebody's going to make you an offer and wants to be with you. So maybe... Give them a chance, get to know them a little bit and trust that um, the divine will send in. I can't believe I just winked. The divine will send in, um, you know, somebody for a reason, shall we say. Yeah, so maybe just give them a chance. The more you get to know each other, the more your bond will deepen with them. Okay, so maybe that's why the flirt fell on the floor. The tower. So I feel like you'll be quite surprised that, um, you know, you have this interest in this person, but it's like you need to get to know them. Um, it, so that's why I feel like it'd be quite shocking that you like them. As a Scorpio, I usually know instantly whether I like somebody or not. Um, so I think, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I generally think people know straight away. And it's not like so corny at love at first sight thing. It's just that, I just believe that you know, like, oh, yeah, I, you know, so maybe that's just me and I am a weirdo, so. Um, yeah, I just feel like it'll be quite shocking once you get to know them, like, ah, I actually do like them. Ah, I didn't realise they were so cute. 
so maybe even it's the friend that's been hanging around um trust the divine and allow this in because even if it's not the person you're meant to be with forever i feel like it will teach you something very surprising about yourself here very life-changing um so i said my angle of my camera's changed and that's i just had a tower moment okay um rather than letting this tower moment continue and make me feel down for days um i'm just trusting in the divine like everything's going to be okay um you know it felt like a non-mover um but it quickly got movement okay so um apply it to your situation how you will um something very shocking is going to happen but trusting allows this um, situation to unfold and bring more depth into your life, more knowledge here. Um, definitely knowledge with the Hierophant and maybe even a partnership, okay? Um, somebody who wanting to be with you. It could be that um, this person hasn't moved for a very long time in this connection because there's moss growing over this two of pentacles so you probably thought this offer would never come and that's why it's a surprise here that now all of a sudden they're all guns blazing here so yeah here we are the hierophant like being brought together um so yeah i definitely feel like they'll either be getting a nudge from their angels here like excuse me you've sat around way too long that moss has grown on you and i feel like this will be a, a surprise for you scorpio i always see the tower card as a scorpio card so i feel like it's going to be shocking for you guys okay whatever it is it's coming in fast don't let it keep you still though ace of swords communication clarity um yeah sign there with that butterfly isn't there i feel like it's a breakthrough look at this breaking through from the clouds it definitely feels like a nudge from the angels like if you don't get moving I'm going to use this sword for something else. <laughs> Scorpio. Yeah, so it seems like there's a breakthrough is going to happen and it's going to be very shocking to you. But I feel like it's um, divinely guided or divine help here. Your part in this is just to trust the situation. OK, um, so, yeah, a definite breakthrough here, um, maybe from somebody who has been stuck in the mud. It could, it could be that they had to show their worthiness because I've, I've seen the sword stuck in the mud. So the two of pentacles stuck still. Only the worthy can pull the sword out of the stone, right? So, and out of the, the sword in the lake and things. But So I feel like somebody's going through this spiritual awakening that then makes them worthy to come forward because if you have been under divine protection then people who are unworthy cannot come forward so it may feel like the situation was stuck but you couldn't let go of each other but there was no movement here okay so it's like finally we have a breakthrough somebody is getting clarity here so let's see who's getting the clarity i shouldn't ask questions in a general reading like that. Four of Pentacles. So again, something that felt like it wasn't producing very much. Um, this lady is overspending with um, all the diamonds. She's decorating herself. So, you know, it's like, have you ever seen the saying, you know, like somebody will spend all the money on a Gucci bag but then carry five pound or five dollars in that bag it's like don't go broke trying to look rich here i don't know why that is so maybe that person um maybe did certain things for money or just went where the money was flowing um went where the grass looked greener and things like that it seemed you know all decorated in jewels here and they've had a breakthrough like huh 
I actually have nothing. So it feels like they're getting clarity on maybe, oh, I thought I had my freedom, but did I even want this freedom? Like, now things are falling apart for them. They're breaking away. That's because I asked. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have asked, but here it feels like this person is finally seeing um, mm, maybe all this stuff that I thought I collected wasn't actually what I wanted and it, I've actually ended up with nothing. You know, so it's like now a foundation needs building again because this is the four of pentacles and a foundation needs building again. So this is why we have getting to know each other again, probably here. So because now we have the enlightenment, now we have the breakthrough, the clarity, um, you know, now they have the shock of their life that, oh, I've what good is having all this jewellery if I have nothing meaningful or nobody to share it with? So it's like they have to get to know themselves again. You've gotten to know yourself again and you'll have to get to know each other again here. But I feel like this is a foundation needing rebuilding here or building, a foundation needing building between two people. And it's like, I want to show you this face here. Like, huh? All this ain't that great, you know. It could be that somebody chose money over you, even here. If it's you feeling like I'm strapped for cash or I I don't have a lot of money, spend and save wisely. Do I need to look all this fancy? carry a Gucci bag with no money in. I'm not going to go broke trying to look rich. It's nothing, you know, you'll stay broke sort of thing. So maybe you had that breakthrough. If you was waiting for maybe a job or something like that, that hasn't come here with the two of pentacles, um, you're finally going to get a breakthrough on your career here, okay? Something, you could have had a tower moment at work and you're going to have a breakthrough on your career, but you need to take action with the Knight of Swords there. The moon. Okay, so let's see this again. Revelations, um, something being revealed to either you. Don't, first of all, let's go back here because... Um, don't deceive yourself feeling like, you know, or don't let somebody else deceive themselves that, you know, looking rich on the outside and being broke inside. Maybe you're doing that as well, like hiding from the world, like that you feel like not enough. That's a bit sensitive, but it's like maybe feeling like you're not enough and, you know, putting on um, a mask for the world. I feel like just be yourself, be honest, be clear, and it'll help you start again a new foundation to build on who you want to be, where you want to be, who you actually are, setting roots here. Um, but this person, I feel like, is what they thought was greener you know this tree's nearly dead from the lack of um you know it's all dry there's no water there so it's like it's finally being revealed to them they're getting clarity with the moon what's been hidden is going to come to the surface here so rather than it coming to the surface in with a tower moment, you know, you can just be honest with yourself here. This is about being honest with yourself. Um, then, or it could be your soulmate being honest with themselves. Like, I can't do this anymore. That's what it feels like. I can't do this anymore. Um, I can't, you know, pretend anymore. So maybe if they was, maybe just an, ex an example, if they was in a relationship for the money, um, it's like I can't do it anymore. There's no feeling here. If they was in a relationship for 
or you just may be like, I can't wait around no more or something like that. It's like being honest with yourself and getting clarity and realizing that that clarity, like, huh, it helps me out. You know, I feel much better, re like revealing myself here sort of thing, being who I am. You know, and often us Scorpios get accused of this dark side of the moon and keeping secrets and things. Um, you may find that you're being more... Be careful. We're always truthful. Sometimes it's a little dark and it's a little hurtful. So be careful with conversations with the Knight of Swords as well. You know, it could be that, you know... Things go out of hand here with the tower in this reading as well. Um, but with the moon here, I feel like maybe if something's revealed to you and it sort of sets something into motion here, so it sets the conversation into motion, okay? So if you find that you can't get through to a person, they've blocked you or you've blocked them or somebody's trying to get through to you, um, they may feel like you're keeping secrets from them with the moon or you could feel that about them and it could bring about a tower moment here. <sighs> the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out, okay? Maybe they come back and tell you, okay, it's not so perfect over there without you or whatever. Um, some truth is coming out here. I feel like it'll be very shocking to you with the tower because you felt like well this didn't go nowhere for so long then why are you showing up now in the knight of swords energy and want to rush things um it's because they understand as well it's being revealed to them as well that it's not greener on the other side it's not nurturing to them they're not growing where they're at things seem to be going wrong for them it's always these Scorpio readings that just go on forever and go deep. But it is Lionsgate, so yeah, the messages will be coming thicker. Justice. So they realised they were treating you unfairly. You realise you have been treated unfairly. You realise your worth here. And things, you get what, you know, you put in now. So Lionsgate is like um, Judgment Day. So it's like, okay, the divine's going to make a decision here. You know, um, are you treating yourself fairly? You know, if somebody offers you a feather, are you just going to give your whole heart? Or do you understand balance now? Do you understand that? you will end up with nothing if you keep giving your whole heart and somebody else is not putting in you end up with nothing so it's like you know because um libra and justice um libra is a sign that's already been judged okay so this is what it is it's judgment day have you learned your lessons um, have you found the balance? If you're off balance, you know, try and it, see, it seems very balanced here, I must say. So if it, you know, if it's you and um, a soulmate where there's been no movement here, I feel like it's been very balanced. Maybe you haven't been making any movement towards them. They haven't towards you. Um, so I feel like maybe you've been finding your balance within you as well or a balance of the feminine and masculine here so you're going to be judged you know like when you receive clarity and information how is it you act do you act like straight away and you know like that's it i'm gonna go crazy you know and allow or do you like allow the tower to happen and then trust the situation or you know do you maybe cause some drama and make the tower into a bigger longer situation so i feel like it's kind of like judgment day on that like where where you're at
So it will be revealed to you, um, you know, how you will be rewarded. Okay, this is justice. This is like things getting dished out to you. What, what did you do? You know, like, okay, here's your reward sort of thing. So it's like judgment time. My usual subscribers know why I did this with the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, so somebody who took a very long time. I actually love this Knight of Pentacles card because it's somebody who finally gets to their destination. Um, this warrior led uh, uh, the civilization from inside Earth to outside and gets to lay down this pentacle, start building this new world here, these new roots, this new love okay so this is like a new foundation being built for this love this four of pentacles is foundation you know but have you learned the lessons from this you know have you got the clarity the uh, revelations you know are things more balanced this time or you know now you're heading into a new relationship are they um do you know what you're gonna accept and what you're not going to accept are you going to accept a feather for your heart like do you think that's a fair exchange okay so i know a pound of feathers weighs the same as the pound of <laughs> joking um so yeah it's like this is somebody you could have waited a long time for but it's about also being very cautious with your heart i feel and when beginning new foundations and now having learned to um take things slow things don't need to be rushed you know um but not so slow that we're stood still and moss grows over us keep living keep the movement happening um so yeah this could be somebody that you've waited for a long time the knight of pentacles and um now they're here to lay the pentacle down this is what this knight of pentacles is um, laying down this pentacle, being at the destination. Like I said, the peak of um, Lionsgate will be in two days. So that's when you'll feel the most connection to the spirit realm and messages and things like that. So go ahead and meditate, maybe find out what you need to bring into balance, what work you still need to do. You may have things revealed to you in meditation. Um, people may be revealing things to you. Just try not to fly off the handle and let it be a bigger tower moment, okay? I knew these read readings would be so crazy. Deep. The star. You're on track with destiny. I love it. I love it. Um, so yeah, you're on the right track, guys. If you, if this resonates with you and you're still here, let me tell you something. You're on the right track. Okay. Um, so it doesn't mean that tower moments won't happen. It's like, how do you react to them? And then I think it's the 12th of August, um, you know, the ending, the closing of the lion's gate. So then we'll see then, you know, what path lays out before you here. But I feel like it's like your wish granted. If you've had the trust all this time, if you've had the faith all this time, then I feel like your reward is this new love, whether it's new or old, because this indicates somebody coming to lay their pentacle after being on a long journey here. So um, I definitely feel like you get um, what you deserve now, you get your wish, you get this um, good karma flowing in, you get these breakthroughs with maybe somebody who's not moving, maybe work that's not moving, you get these breakthroughs now, you know, um, don't lie to yourself, okay, don't be telling yourself everything in the world is bad because that's what you'll keep seeing, um, maybe you're being more cautious with your heart now, um, but, you know, don't close yourself off from love altogether. You know, um, it says this situation is calling for you to have faith, you know, guys. Um, so I feel like 
Aim for the stars. Nothing less. Aim for the stars. You're heading in the right direction. You're on track here. You're on track on your destined path here. You will see um, after the lions get here um, what the judgment has been for you. You know, how much have you ascended up this path here? How much work have you done? You're going to be rewarded for it here. So um, don't worry about difficult times or struggling times because it's coming here. It's coming. The pentacle's about to lay down. The offer's about to be made here. Okay, guys? Wonderful. Good luck, guys. And to me too.